What's going on, YouTube? All right, this is going to be another quick video. Um, as I told you guys, you know, I'm out of time for the weekend, but uh, on the screen you have my top plays, guys. I'm trying to give you some value plays, all right, so that way you can fit in, you know, whatever studs you want. But to be honest, the um, the prices are, are pretty cheap on uh, DraftKings, but uh, here we go. All right, so on the screen you see my top five plays, guys. I like Queen Cook with all the injuries that they have in uh, Golden State. Like him to be the one to take charge, guys. They're really short on guards. If you're going to look at their depth charts, they literally have like two to three guards, and a couple of them are questionable. All right. I like Donovan Mitchell. His usage has been very high. Dude's taking 20, 25 plus shots the last three games, man. You know, I like him to smash against Golden State, who's beat up. All right. Michael Beasley, I like him strictly because they're short on bigs, all right. Um, Kyle Quinn has been uh, ruled out. So I like Beasley to get more minutes, and as you know anything about Beasley, he likes to chunk that ball and get shots up. So, and plus, um, small forward is a good position uh, to attack Washington at, all right? Or well, power forward, I mean. All right, John Collins. I like this young man versus Houston. If he's back, ATL playing a young cat's a lot of minutes. You see the last game he played, he played 32 minutes and put up 20 DraftKings points versus Golden State. This is versus Houston, guys. So I like him when he has a record versus Houston. Where he, I think he put up like 30 DraftKings points the last time he played versus Houston. So I like that. All right, we got Ennis Cantor. Again, New York is short on bigs. And if you look at the last time that Washington played New York, <clears throat> Cantor put up 52 Derrick King points in 34 minutes. He put a 24 and 14. He had a nice double-double. So I like Cantor for the cheap at 6K, guys. So that's going to be my top five plays at the moment. All right, guys, anything can change. Um, but uh, it leaves you some room. So some other plays I like that's not mentioned on the board is going to be, um, you know, I like DeRozan. Versus Los Angeles Clippers, you like to attack them at the small fort. He hasn't been playing well the last couple of games, but this could be a bounce back game for him. Uh, you always got like Paul George. He's at home versus Portland. All right, all right. Who else we got? Al Horford's in a good spot, right? Versus Sacramento, but you know he's been playing like crap lately. But he's getting thirty plus minutes, so I like Al Horford in a bounce back spot as well. All right, Derek Favors versus Golden State. Yeah, that's a good place to attack them is at the power four, and he's been playing 30-plus minutes the last couple of games, averaging around 37 DraftKings points. For a guy that's 5.5K, that's a steal. All right, Greg Monroe, big man, gets a lot of points per minute, plays about 20 minutes on average and puts up about 25 to 30 DraftKings points. You take a look at him in the game versus Sacramento. <clears throat> and so, ooh, Jordan Bell. All right, as we said, Golden State has been decimated. They got a lot of players that's hurt. They have a very small – uh, amount of pay players on their roster. But I like Jordan Bell to put up about 30 DraftKings points versus Utah. Again, they don't have a lot of options. All right, so he should get heavy minutes, guys. So that's some of my top plays, guys. Sorry for the short video. Again, you know, like I said, I'm out of town. So I'll hide you guys later. Peace.